Hi, we are Project Hypnose. We are making a story-driven 360-degree film for head-mounted display. Or you can say a virtual reality movie. So VR 360 film is a really new medium and not a lot has been done in it. There's really only a handful of VR films out there and very few of them focus on telling stories. So to begin this project, we started out by doing research. We looked at uh, what films were out there and what they were doing, what worked and what didn't. Uh, we also created demos to try out new techniques. We discovered that viewers often felt like a character in the film. Uh, we also found out that eye contact is really important for creating immersion. For our story, we wanted to put the viewer into the shoes of somebody that's entirely disabled, has absolutely no agency in the scene. We did this both because of technical limitations, but also to make the best use of the medium. For our story, we started out in a live action sequence, where you're getting some sort of context into the relationship of the viewer and their family members in the scene. Once we transition into a dance sequence, you're getting some sort of emotion from the dance and also building up some feelings of anxiety and frustration only to build it into our third sequence where we finally have this calm. Um, it's an entirely CG space that, that's meant to really bring the viewer uh, back down to a, to a level of comfort. There are many challenges for making a 360 film. We use 10 GoPro cameras with a 360 degree we create our film. So since everything can be seen, we had to come up with tricks to hide things like our tripod. So we built a mount that looks like a person sitting in a wheelchair. So when you are in the scene, you will be the camera and also the main character. After filming, we stitched together the footage from the GoPro cameras into a panoramic film. We have to take our time in stitching as best we can because it strongly affects the immersive experience. We also develop plugin tools in Maya for better animation and visual effects. Once we have the footage, we combine it with sound and CG in the Unity. For an immersive experience, we focus on keeping the resolution as high as possible. While playback is above 60 frames per second. After this, we have our final film that we can distribute to Oculus and Gear VR. Maybe virtual reality is just a new medium, but through this medium, we become more empathetic and connected to what has been recorded by 360 camera and become part of the virtual world.